I don't know, it's hurting my soul, it's so bright. Hey you guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am super excited to do this video because I wanna start getting more into doing beauty videos. Um, even though I'm not licensed or certified or have any kind of education in any kind of beauty or cosmetic products, I just really like makeup and I kinda of thought it'd be fun to start doing more of like a consumer review. I see a lot of makeup artists doing their reviews and I really do trust them, but sometimes I wanna know, okay, like I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not not gonna necessarily get this palette or this foundation or this concealer and do what they're doing with it so I thought maybe if I approach this as more of like your everyday girl using foundation or using makeup products like maybe this would be a little bit more helpful or interesting to people like me who don't constantly only do a cut crease or like these wild eyeshadow designs and stuff like that so yeah if you guys are here for that please stick around so today's video is going to be on the soap and glory kick ass foundation i got it in the shade zero one so it says that it is 24 hour wear and sweat proof and today i'm going to be cleaning my whole house i've got some shopping to do and then i'm also going to be uh exercising so i thought today would be a perfect day to try this out i just am always curious to know like is there a better foundation out there most liquid foundations do not work on my skin foundation just kind of slides around my face or it breaks up and separates or it just i don't know it transfers really easily if you don't know soap and glory is a cruelty free company uh this foundation is vegan i'm not sure if all of their products are vegan i think that they are honestly um i can look that up in a minute and i can let you guys know i'll probably leave that down in the description so looking on the website they have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven only 12 shades which feels not like much at all um i guess the range is okay but if you look there's a lot of lighter shades versus the darker shades and it doesn't seem to go very deep so this is a newer product i'm hoping that they release more shades maybe as it either takes off or time goes on um but it just seems like i would say that there's maybe three deeper shades and possibly two like more medium to deep shades and the rest seem fairly like light to light medium but what it says is that it is 24 hours long lasting it's humidity sweat sweat i can't even speak it's humidity sweat and waterproof there's no chance of dreaded cakey face and you're gonna look fresh and flawless around the clock. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. And like I said, I got it in the shade 01. And yeah, let's put it on my face and see what happens. This is what the pump actually looks like, which I'm actually really excited about because I am kind of sick of like the droppers and the spatulas and the turn it upside down and shake it until it's out. So as you're using this, it looks like the bottom part kind of pushes up so the foundation goes with it. So there's not any chance that you're going to have a lot of like leftover product. Um, how much is in this? Okay, one fluid ounce or 30 mils, which is about your standard size when it comes to getting foundation. So let's pump this out and see. Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. <laughs> That's not gonna cover my whole face. Come on. Come on. It's like spitting at me. Ugh! It is. It's like splattering it on my hand. Come on. There we go. We got some. That's probably way too much, but that's all right. It was a struggle to get it out. Oh, that's so, that's sexy. Um, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I am going to use only a beauty sponge. That is my favorite way to apply foundation, even like if it's a really liquidy foundation, simply because I've noticed that it gets into my fine lines and it gets, like it fixes my texture a little bit better. It looks kind of like it has a gray undertone. I don't know if you guys can see that. I feel like there's a little bit of like a gray tinge to it. It doesn't look like human flesh, so we'll see. It's also not super runny, but it's not super thick. I like the consistency. So yeah, let's put it on my face. Ooh, that looks super pale. I'm using the viewfinder too, so this could go really badly. Honestly though, it's got really good coverage. Let me get my baby hairs. I don't want to get this all over my hair. I mean, I really feel like this coverage is really good. 
you can still see some of my pores so I might have to see if it will build up right there a little bit goes a long way it doesn't smell like paint or anything like that I don't know if you guys remember the wet and wild foundation that came out but it smelled like straight up house paint look at this <laughs> I mean, it's obviously a little light for my skin, but not really because it blends well with my neck But it is neutralizing some of the redness that I have and I have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation right here But I mean, it's really neutralized. I'm impressed. This is So far this review is going pretty well. I like it It's covering my freckles my pores this is really nice so I think I bought this I bought it at Walgreens um, Ulta had not been carrying it and I looked there first and they didn't have it however somewhere in the last like two or three days they did start carrying it let me see how much it is at Ulta I know at Walgreens I paid like $13 if you get it just from um, soap and glory it's $13.99 I'm like a man like my voice is really oh I went to the pacer game last night that's probably what the issue is at Ulta it's $16 so it, I don't know like how much shipping would be at soap and glory but it might be better for you to go to the website and order it rather than go to Ulta but if you're like me and you hate waiting <laughs> you're probably still gonna go to Ulta and pay the extra price just to get it right now Doesn't seem like it's oxidizing at all, which when I was looking at the reviews, that was one of the things that everybody was complaining about. They were complaining about how everything like started to turn orange and it oxidized. Now I have the lightest shade, so some of the darker shades might oxidize more, I suppose. This one really doesn't have much of a pigment to it. I feel like this is pretty darn close to full coverage and it feels really light on my skin. It is a bit tacky or dewy so it needs to be set I am jigging this I mean it's pretty well covered you can't see all of my pores the redness is gone you can't see all of my freckles um yeah I'm pretty amazed so far so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer and set this and see how that goes I hate to waste that much product but I don't really need it so for concealer I'm using the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade fair 02 it is the lightest shade next to the shade white <laughs> um, and I actually like this concealer quite a bit I think I only paid six dollars for it too So far, it's good. It didn't lift anything. I was afraid that the concealer was going to lift my foundation because the color pop filter no the color pop no filter foundation is a little bit on like the medium to thick side but it didn't lift anything and it built up really nicely so what i'm using for setting powder it is the pacifica cherry velvet um matte setting powder i love this powder it's not necessarily my absolute favorite when it comes to um like how dense it can get but it smells amazing. It smells like uh, pixie sticks. I think that's what they're called. They're like the candy that's in the little paper tubes or whatever. But yeah, this is actually really, really good. And I got it at Ulta. Um, I don't know the price. All right, that is set. I mean, my nose looks flawless, you guys. With adding concealer, I definitely think that it takes on more of like a full coverage. I'm just taking the leftover powder on my brush to set the rest of my face. Yeah, it's not even lifting as I'm using the brush. And usually if a product is going to lift, it's my nose. And you can see it didn't lift at all. It looks matte right now, 
but I think that is the powder because when I put on the foundation it had more of like a dewy finish and I do use powder all over my face because I am oily but I do feel like the foundation itself dried down to more of like a semi matte or kind of like a like a semi dewy finish all right I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I will pop back in in a second well, I'm back and I, uh, yeah, I have no eyeshadow on because when I tried to do my eyeshadow, I got a little bit overly ambitious to create some kind of really creative cut crease eye and yeah, it was a flop. So I had to take off all of my makeup and start completely over from scratch, which meant I had to redo my foundation um, and I did it just like I did before with the same uh, primer and setting powder and amount of uh, foundation and everything, but I did just add bronzer and blush and a little bit of highlight and we're just going to keep it like this for scientific purposes and pretend like I meant to flop in my eyeshadow so that I had more of a bare natural face. But right now I am about to go leave my house, buy some Starbucks, go shopping, and then I still have to go I still have to clean, I have to get my son to work, my other son has a baseball practice, and then I also have to bake. So hopefully I get to put my face to the test. Oh, and I'm gonna be working out, uh, which means we can tell whether or not this is sweat proof. I did set my face with the setting spray. I have to be honest and say that I really like this foundation so far. I don't feel like it's clumping or creasing or sliding around. Sorry you guys, I'm like talking through my nose. I think I'm coming down with the cold which is gonna make this day even more interesting because I'm probably gonna be like wiping and blowing my nose I know super sexy I don't know what time it is because I left my phone in my bedroom last I looked it was about noon so we're gonna start the time clock at 12 and I'm going to probably go to bed at 12 so that should be about 12 hours of wear uh, which I think is pretty fair it said it's a 24 hour foundation but I'm not staying up for 24 hours to test it so I will see you guys in a little bit all right so this is my first check-in. Now I am on my phone, so it is a little bit of a softer focus, but I forgot my camera at home, so <laughs> I'm such a good professional YouTuber. But I just wanna give you guys kind of a look at what my makeup looks like in natural lighting. It has been on my face for about three hours and it still feels really good. It still looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, there's not really a lot of creasing really anywhere other than like normal foundation creases on my face. I mean, I'm almost 37, so I have wrinkles. It's not like gonna just disappear. Um, none of my makeup has moved. It's not, it doesn't feel heavy or thick. It feels really nice, but I just wanted to show you guys my face. It's going pretty well. Now the real test is going to be going home. I have to clean. I have to change all the animals. Cha can ugh, can't even speak. I have to change all of the animals cages. Um, vacuum sweep. My, like today is my big cleaning day, but all right. Well, I will give you guys an update here in a little bit. I wanted to do a quick update really fast. Um, I am in direct sunlight. Like it's blinding me. It's being super rude and I don't know it's hurting my soul it's so bright but I just want to show you guys I think this lighting is really showing how my makeup my foundation is still really holding together I mean I'm like doing this with my face so it's looking more creased than what it is I still have a little bit of creasing here a little bit of creasing here but around my eyes there's almost nothing my face looks flawless I don't see all of these pores um, it is still mattified I did get a little bit crazy with the highlighter and I think that the highlight has just kind of <laughs> gone down my face, down my neck. However, I did take a nap. I uh, still have not exercised, still have not cleaned my house. I did go shopping a second time with Anthony. Um, but so far, you can kind of see my pores here. Um, I haven't touched anything up. I haven't blotted anything. I think it's holding up pretty well. I can't see any like oily spots or whatever. But this has officially been on my face for about six hours. So I'm gonna do one more kind of sum up, whatever, around 10 o'clock to show you. Cause that should be about 10 hours that it was on my face, I believe. I think it's about, 10 o'clock should be about 10 hours. Um, yeah, so I don't know, it's holding up, but yeah. See you guys in my next, what is it? Check-in. <laughs> See you guys in my next check-in. 
It is time for me to wrap up this video and tell you guys what I think about this foundation. First, let me bring you guys in so that you can see what it really looks like after being on my face for about 11, 11 and a half hours. <laughs> I feel like there should be like some dramatic music. Uh, but okay, if you guys get the close look, you can see that my face still looks pretty darn good. I can only imagine this video going up on people's flat screen TVs. Please, if you're gonna watch this on a flat screen TV, turn it off right now, because this is terrifying. Uh, I do have some shininess, for sure. I see some creasing around here, and just ever so slightly in my forehead, uh, that's usually where I start to get the creasing the most, and that's just because that's where I have my natural wrinkles the most. Let me look at my mirror to get a little bit closer. Like around here is usually where I get a lot of creasing too. Now I can see my natural line, but I don't see the foundation building up in it to make it more exaggerated. Same even with right here. I don't see like a foundation build up. It's like my own old lady wrinkles are just kind of popping through to say hi. And I do have, okay, so there is pretty good creasing right there under my eye. However, that could be the, the concealer as well. I do think the ColourPop concealer can kind of crease over time, but my highlight is still visible. My blush, my bronzer, I can't even think of words, is still visible. Um, For the most part, minus my T-zone area, I do think that the foundation stayed matte uh around the tops of my eyes where i did not put concealer it did not crease so i really do think this creasing under my eye is the ColourPop concealer let me back you guys up so that you the horror of this is gone but even when i went into ulta the woman was like oh you have a nice face and i was like thank you i guess but then she complimented me on my makeup and told me that my foundation looked really nice and then my husband even said he was like well that's never your foundation has never looked that good and he's right because usually it just kind of by the time he gets off of work my face is like rebelling against whatever i put on my face and that's even when i use primer setting spray uh translucent setting powder everything it just does not like liquid foundation so i would definitely say that this product is worth its money um i paid somewhere between 13 and 16 dollars i honestly don't remember uh but i would definitely give this a try if you have oily decombination skin if you have issues with aging or even texture because it's not going to overly emphasize what you already have naturally with all that being said though, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Make sure to please thumbs up this video, subscribe and turn, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss my uploads. Let me know what you think of this foundation if you have tried it or are going to try it. And I'll see you guys later, so bye.